everyone, and welcome to 1923 Main Street. Home of the Daddy Daughter Disney Travel Podcast. We are your hosts. I am Mike Bellobradic. And I'm Amelia Bellobradic. And today, we're going to be talking about the bare necessities of Disney life. Of Disney life. Well, what do you need when you're at Disney? I think we're talking about Disney packing, aren't we? Well, yes. But when you pack, you need to bring the bare necessities. So the bare necessities of Disney. Oh, I get it. The bare necessities of life. Oh, my goodness. How did I miss that one? I don't know. Maybe we're a little bit tired today. No, I should not have missed that one. I've been outed. <laughs> I'm missing an easy one. All right. We are indeed talking about packing for a Walt Disney World vacation. Now, is there even packing strategy? Yes. I don't have one. I have one. Uh, Well, I guess I do. I don't think it's a strategy, but I will talk about how I pack. I know you go a little bit more in depth with your packing. Well, how can you not go in depth? It's what you need for life. Let me start this episode, which I've resisted doing for a long time because I just don't think packing for Disney is a big deal. (laughs) So I'm going to ask you this question. Is packing for a Disney vacation any different than packing for any other vacation? Well, yes and no. All right. Explain. Well, because you see, when you pack for a Disney vacation, you kind of have to be conscious because you also do want to bring some Disney pieces. But then also, more specifically, when I pack for a Disney vacation, just because Florida is, well, I mean, maybe if you're going to Florida, it's different. But when you're going to Disney, you are in the parks all day, or well, at least we do it so it's kind of hot. So you have to, like, if it's in the summer, to bring it silly tanked up. So you have to plan more specifically for Disney, which is different than when you pack anywhere else. And that's because you're talking about the parks? Yeah. The park factor to your packing. Which is, even if you're going to a place or something, it's not like you're spending a lot of time there like every single day. So you'd have to pack differently when you're doing that. And also, I just find packing for Disney more fun. So I would have to say I have no different strategy. So I'm going to challenge you all the way along. The way I pack for a Disney vacation, so we can even go deeper. The way I pack for a Walt Disney World vacation or a Disney Aulani vacation, or oh a, well, yeah, or, those it's different even within like it's if not, you it's if not you for me though. That's my point. It's different for me. It's all the same. I will have the exact same stuff no matter what, pretty that's, much, unless it's a winter vacation. <laughs> so any vacation well, where it's warm weather, I pack the exact same way. It's just it's just more fun to pack for like a Disney vacation. It's it's more fun to do. You make lists. You make videos. If you're just going to like Europe or something, it's like. Ugh. There's no point. It's not as fun. Okay, so tell me, how is it different? Now, I know you. there are lots of packing videos, and you actually... So Amelia Thanks makes so. these packing videos and never posts them. We do have a YouTube channel. We It's one social media network we don't use a lot or haven't so far. However, I'm willing to put stuff up there if she wants to do it. No, but no. She makes these packing We're videos good. just for herself. Whereas my packing video... So I'm a minimalist. I will. How about I start... Because it's the same for me no matter what. I pack the bare minimum of stuff. So on a Disney vacation, I'll pack, you know, five or to seven shirts, <laughs> T-shirts. That's uh, not true. I will pack two or three pairs of shorts, a bathing suit, you know, the socks and underwear stuff. You don't wear half of the T-shirts you bring. And well, it annoys me. Yeah, so I actually overpack. And then that's about it. Maybe flip-flops, some, you know, your toiletries. I don't do anything else. Mm-hmm. I don't pack any other stuff. I actually leave room in case I want to buy stuff. I leave room. I just have a very large suitcase. So I could almost do a carry-on, but since we're checking anyway, I just check. I, I should buy a new suitcase. I need a bigger one. No, you don't. Well, see, I like to call myself a minimalist, but I'm not at all. I will wear uh, well very much overpack because you need to have options because the thing is when you're going to disney you want to take pictures you want to take pictures for instagram for memories for polaroids whatever you want to take pictures and if you're just wearing the same outfit all the time it gets very repetitive okay so why don't you talk about so first of all we're talking about disney world in this episode even though we say disney that's one of my pet peeves people say disney and they mean Disney World. Well, guess what? There are many, many Disney destinations. It's so much worse. So it bugs people... me when people say Disney. Yeah. Um, one time someone was like, yeah, and so I went to Disneyland for vacation, and the flight to Florida was kind of like, and I was like, no. Well, that's another no, one. No, no. But... We went to Disney World, not <laughs> People Disneyland. who just say, yeah, are you going to Disney? Well, which one? 
you know, anyway, they mean Disney World. For some reason, it became Disney shortened. Anyway, I'm off on a tangent. So let's start with you. I could do a whole Pet Peeves episode. But let's start with you on your strategy. Well, so if someone's asking you, let's do it this way for a lot of our listeners. They haven't gone a lot or they haven't gone for a while or they've never gone. And they're saying, what do I need to pack? What is your strategy? Well, see, I have a very weird strategy because what I do is, well, first of all, I look back on past videos that I've made. So like, I don't forget any little things. And that's how I make the majority of the stuff that I know that I need to bring. I have like I look back on past videos that I've made so I don't forget. And then I make a giant list that's three pages long of every specific clothing item and thing that I need to pack in my carry-on and or luggage. And so that takes a long time. And then I just pack it. But the thing is why I get so excited about it is kind of also the last episode because it's like the Disney vacation glow. And so you're getting that excited about the vacation. Uh-huh. So packing so that's for you why, is yeah. part of the pre-glow. Because it's like you're so excited. It's almost more fun than booking it because you can imagine yourself doing things in the outfit. You're packing a dress. Then you can just imagine yourself taking a picture in front of the castle in that dress and then you just get even more and more excited. And that's a problem if your vacation is still, So you know. are you packing for photos? Is that why you pack so much stuff? No. So if a friend tells you or someone asks you, what should I pack? You're going to say pack 100 outfits? No, I don't so, have 100 outfits. I just have 9 or 10. Isn't that overkill? No. Well, 9 or 10 is actually not that bad. It feels like you have more. Well, that's... See, that's because I mix and match. Like, I'll wear this top with this skirt this day, and then the next day I'll wear the top with, like, a different shorts. It's very... It's very extravagant. And you also need to make a list a night before list, which is like stuff that you're still using because I keep forgetting chargers or brushes or things that you use the night before. That's just packing in general. But just make a list of things that you need the next morning that you're still using the night before so you don't forget to pack them. Yeah, that's a good tip. That's a good, like you said, a good anything tip. Because I have forgotten a brush, I think at least twice, probably more. And then we've had to buy one down there. Okay, so here's my, I'll start with me because you're all over the place with your packing. I'm going to force you to narrow it down. But I'm the minimalist. I don't bring a lot of stuff. I don't bring anything at all to the parks. I don't, I don't understand people who bring their, you know, their house to the theme parks with suit backpacks filled, filled with stuff. I travel light. Are you whistling? Like, do do do. I travel super light. So I will bring... Like I said, the bare minimum of everything, I you know, for socks and undergarments and those things, I don't, I don't want to wash anything. So I'll bring like seven pairs or however long we're going. Which and leaves then, open suitcase space to throw things I have in other tons. people's suitcases. My suitcase is super light. And no, it's not. It's filled with all of my things. The only thing that weighs it down are... My uh, things that I shove in you there? You know, camera batteries or... Because I, even though I have my phone, I do like to bring my camera as well. Um, but other than that, and a lot of that goes on carry on, like my laptop and things like that. So I'll try to put the heavy stuff in carry on and my suitcase is pretty light and it does leave me room to bring home. So if someone asked me, I would say pack minimal, don't lug a ton of stuff through the parks. I'm a minimalist packer. I don't think I minimalist packer. I don't think I've ever gone through the guests with bags line ever. Not unless I'm just walking through it because there's no one there, which is rare. But I hate that line, so I like to go guests without bags. And I pack light, and I always do, and I recommend that. Now, See, packing light is different than packing for the parks. Not for me, it's not. That's what I'm saying. No, but see, this is the thing. Men's clothing has so much more pocket space. There are no pockets on shorts or skirts or things, so you have to bring a bag. Because otherwise you can't bring anything. What do you need to... Okay, so what are must-have items for the parks, according to you, that people would need to pack? You need... Well, for example, the My Disney Experience app, you need your phone. Okay, I You always say not to shove it in a back pocket. There's no other pocket to put it in. So, instant bag. You also... Maybe you don't want to, Well, you can bring a small, like, handbag or something. Still have to go through bag check. Yeah, I guess you do. Well, I'm just saying I don't. I put it in my pockets. But I guess yes, for you, don't, you do. I don't have pockets. But you're, that's still, I would still so call that problem. traveling light as opposed to backpacks filled with, well, mm-hmm. I don't even know what they're filled with. Well, some people like to bring water and chargers so their phones don't die. And then they also like to bring notebooks and pencils. And I'm not saying that's something I do. But well, you know. I don't, yeah. Cause, well, you don't actually carry a lot of stuff in the parks. Or, or you make mommy carry it. Mommy always goes through bag check. That's because she never goes on roller coasters. So she doesn't need to shove it in like those little mini 
those things that never fit big enough, and so you have to hold on to your bag. Okay, when you're I'm going trying outside. to get some actual. Sorry. I'm not getting it. Packing advice from you. You view yourself as this expert packer for <laughs> Disney vacations. What advice are you giving me? See, I'm a terrible packer. So my advice is to just go through what you have in the order that you would need it because otherwise you forget things because I'm always so worried that I'm going to forget things, which is why I make lists of things that I need to bring more than 50 days before the trip. What do you mean the order you need it? So when you pack, do you say, okay, Monday, I'm going to wear this. Tuesday, I'm going to wear this. Is that what you're saying? Just give me some tangible advice. Well, I'm a terrible packer, so the way I like to think of it is when I'm packing, I need to do things in the order that I won't forget them. So, for example, I would go Monday, I need to bring this. Tuesday, I'm going to wear this. So that's what I said. You sort of, you approach it day by day. So is your advice to think what you're going to wear on each day? Yeah. Or for example, if it's St. Patrick's Day on the Tuesday, then I would wear a green outfit or I would bring a green outfit specifically for that day. Or if I'm going to like the Halloween party or the Christmas party, then I would bring certain like color outfits for that or or a little costume so I don't forget. Okay, so special events, that's a good thing to think about or special days. Or if I'm going to a fancy dinner like Victoria and Albert. Victoria and Alberts, not Victoria and Alberts. <laughs> Still okay. said that. So think you of your dining. That's good. You would bring a fancy good. outfit because there is a dress code at Victoria and Alberts. Yeah, that's a good thing. That's good advice. There are a few, even if it's not Victoria and Alberts, there are other restaurants you might want to. I mean, I like. I I'm the same. I wear my shorts and I have those button up short sleeve t shirts. So that's my fancy one <laughs> as opposed to a t shirt. But I really don't bring anything else unless we're doing Victoria and Alberts where I have to actually bring dress clothes. But beyond that, I don't. I don't even bring ponchos. So you can talk about thinking about rain and all this stuff. I mean, the thing is, you don't want to wear a hoodie when it's 90 or 100 degrees and it's Florida in the summer, but wet plastic on your skin is not... Yeah, I'm not a poncho person. It's not I'll, very pleasant. I'll tough it out. But but if you are, I guess that's something to think about. And really, they pack I pretty flat a hoodie. or light. I also recommend if specifically for Disney World and Disneyland because they are warmer places, I still recommend bringing at least one pair of pants and a sweatshirt because... It's sometimes it does get cold or if you have the air condition or if it's cold at night, you just I still recommend having those because then if someone else in your trip, they might get annoyed when you constantly steal their warm clothes that they think to bring. Well, and I don't do that. So if you're no, you don't. If you're a minimal packer like me, so let, let, I was guess you just made me think of something. If your trip to Disney World is between November and March, I'm going to say bring a light jacket for the evenings, like a yeah. very light jacket because it can get cool at night from or just like a Disney hoodie. Yeah, or a hoodie. But I, in the morning when we go to the parks, even in the winter... It's it's still fairly warm. No, it's often cold. Well, 50s Fahrenheit, it's like 10 cold. degrees. And Well, you guys will bundle up and I will wear the same shorts and shirt. Yeah, I wear it's a, a t-shirt chilly, and minus two Celsius. But I know that it's going to warm up. So, whereas mommy will... Lo- then she has to lug this stuff around all day. So, t- I'll tough it out. But that's part of the minimalist packers paradigm. You know, <laughs> you know, on the fringes, I don't care. I'll just pack light. You know what I do? I will bring a tiny hoodie and I'll shove it in my backpack and I'll carry it around all day and I will just never wear it. And I'll have and I'll lug it around all day for What's absolutely no What's a tiny no hoodie as opposed to a regular hoodie? Well, it depends how thick they are oh, because okay. then you can like compress so bulky. it more. They're, yeah, they're, you know, there's, yeah, there's ones that are less bulky. Okay. Some of them are thinner and some of them have more... Uh, not insulation. That's not the right word. Whatever that sort of fluff In- is. Inside yeah. Yeah. warmness okay. device. So what are your must-have items? Do you have any must-have items? Or or is it just your approaches? Think about how you dress. Think about each day. You know, there's. I was telling you, there's a packing thing that says, think about everything you're going to pack and then throw away half of it. Well, that's the most bring, ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Bring half of what you think you'll need. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Because then I need to double up so then I can cut it in half to appease you. Well, that you. doesn't appe- that that's the packing strategy a lot of pro travelers will say. No. So you don't really have any must have items. What about ears? Do you pack dis- I, mean, I don't bring any of this stuff. I rarely will bring a baseball hat even because it just makes me hotter in hot. Who brings weather. a baseball cap to but do, Disney? Do you bring ears? I bring ears. I also would or like Or you just buy them when you're there. Yeah, I would like to buy another pair of ears. I don't think I've ever bought a pair of ears from a Disney park other than like the hat 
Like uh, I've never. And we bought. do know. I think one of our friends who we mention often, sometimes by name, sometimes without, who's an ear fanatic, and I think ear fanatics will, as part of what you said, packing for every day, will bring seven pairs of ears, of Mickey ears, to wear throughout the vacation. Those sort of headband ears, right? Well, I have four different bows that I can make interchangeable on my ears. Are there any don't need items? I say you need everything. I think that's more of a question for you. Well, yeah. I, I say you pack minimum. I'll bring one pair of like running shoes and one pair of flip-flops for shoes. That's it. Do you bring more than that? I bring a pair of tennis shoes, a pair of running shoes, a pair of flats, a pair of sandals, and a pair of slides. So why? So I have... You change them that much? I don't even pay no. attention to it. I don't wear half of the stuff. Yeah, so see, so you're lugging around stuff. You don't need, bam, poop, no, proving my point. No, it's because sometimes if you're not walking too much around the park or if you're just going out to a dinner, but it's not necessarily uh, just like a little one on the beach like where you can wear sandals, you need to have a nice pair of flats that I personally like to bring because especially the ones that I bring have Minnie and Mickey on on them. So I wear those because they are Disney. So this is where your Disney packing differs. You do bring Yes, I try Disney themed things. Although I've to noticed your Disney World vacation or any other Disney resort. Although I've noticed I never actually wear my in all of the photos that I look at, I'm hardly ever wearing Disney merchandise. Yet when I'm thinking about Disney vacations and what I need to pack, it's always oh, Disney, 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 Disney. So I'll bring one, you know, obviously comfortable shoes. I mean, I think that goes without saying, but we'll say it. So I just bring the shoes I wear around here. I mean, you're walking around the parks all day. You're not going to do the parks and flip flops and at least have a good time. Have you ever? Yes. Would you recommend it? I mean, just because sometimes you might like trip or something. It's It's not that you would feel... They, the shoes aren't comfortable. It's just they're not practical. I've heard for people say, "Oh, their feet get sore" or something. I wouldn't say that. I would say, but we're not parks. You know, we don't go for eight hours. Either. I would be. It's your fault that I'm not. Well, you're old enough now that almost you can. So, what about packing for kids? Do you think there's anything that you can think of now that you're 13 from I, your kid years? I think kids are be lucky because they have smaller clothes so they can bring more. But as for parents, any parents listening, do you have any packing for kids advice? I say let your kids have an influence on the packing because as a personal it I would be very annoyed when someone else packs for you and there's something that they forget or there's something that they brought that you didn't want them to bring. I would just say check with your kids what you are packing and what they want you to pack and just go through it because otherwise they will likely get annoyed at one way or another of something you brought okay, or so didn't that's brought good that advice. they want. So then you can have those conversations at home. Yes. You might also want to pack some snacks for your kid in the park, bring them from home so you don't have to shop if they're granola bars or something like that, right? Can you bring that if on a carry-on? Well, you don't have to carry it on. You can check it. Right. Just if you want park snacks. You can buy stuff in Florida as well if we're talking about Disney World, of course. Yeah. Uh, or anywhere for that matter. But it's easier sometimes just to pack those things for kids. Water bottles. You know, people talk about, oh, bringing refillables. Just, I just go to quick service. You can go to any quick service and ask for water. Again, I don't yeah. like to carry stuff around I don't need. So I don't bring refillable bottles or water bottles or, or anything in the park. Water pouches. That we do you buy can water sling bottles over. for the room. But that's uh, different. And sometimes if mummy's offering, I'll throw one in her bag. <laughs> but if I have to carry it around, I won't bring it. I'll yeah. just drink in the parks. I know people complain about Magic Kingdom water tasting weird and all that stuff. No, it doesn't. I you know what? I doesn't, for 50 years going there, I don't even notice it. If the water's super, it may be from the fountains, but How does water, it you get, weird? water you get from a quick service, which you can just ask for for free with ice, I don't know, tastes fine to me, especially if you're hot and thirsty. Water from fountains anywhere tastes weird. That's not a Magic Kingdom thing. That's just a universal water from fountains is not Universal RO. or no. that's a small U, universal. Yes, that's worldwide phenomenon well i don't know north america wide phenomenon no it's worldwide you're right <laughs> in my experience <laughs> of fountains just not having the best quality water it's not disney it's fountains how early do you start packing well over 50 days out 
I say, well, not necessarily actually packing because you might need a certain pair of clothing or you might need something that you would want to bring that you wouldn't put in yet. But I would say start preparing and setting things aside or making a list of what you do need to bring. Personally, I do it as soon as the trip is booked, but at least a month out. So I can vouch that Amelia actually does have a list. I don't have a list. I know what I need. It's I mean, three I pages. I can count the number of days, the number of t-shirts and shorts I'll need. Um and the other stuff I already mentioned. And then, you know, computer, laptop, whatever you bring. Laptop, computer, tablet. It's a spreadsheet. Phone chargers. I mean, that's about it. It's just I forget other things than so snacks. often. We go to the grocery store when we land there. We take a limo service. We never took Magical Express anyway, so we don't care that it's going away. We take a limo. They stop at Publix. We load up on food. And if we're staying in a villa, then we really load up on food. Because uh, we're having refriger- big refrigerators and full kitchens and stuff. So... And if you're bringing a stroller, just for any of my past experience in this, you don't need the Escalade of strollers. You don't need a gigantic stroller to lug around. My advice, my packing advice is go super small and light. I mean, if you have twins or something, you can't really. But when we had Amelia or if you have just one kid in a stroller, we loved those little umbrella strollers because you're going to be folding them up to get on Disney boats not on the monorail, but Disney boats, Disney buses. You're going to have to, and even if you take an Uber or Lyft, you're going to have to fold this I thing miss up. That. I and didn't. we had a little umbrella stroller that was small yeah. and light and still had but also extra, there's like, extra storage. Yeah, like a little thing under so you can just shove all of your things that you do not want to carry. So maybe a stroller for your kid. You see, you are blaming me. Oh, Amelia's five still in the stroller, but really. You just wanted the extra storage. Yeah. So in those times when I I had to go through bag checks. So you will have to go. go, No, you do have to. If you have a stroller, you'll have to go through it pretty much. Because then you may as well bring stuff, right? Extra water or whatever the case may be. Because if you don't have to carry it, if you're just lugging it. If you have to carry it anyway because you're bringing the stroller, then that's one thing. Do you carry strollers? Well, you have to carry it on on and off the bus and on and off the bus. Well, yeah. But when you're pushing the kid, you're not lifting them no, up above no. the crowd. It's like a, then it becomes like a shopping cart. You can fill it with stuff, <laughs> it, especially if you shop there. Just don't leave it for someone to take it. We never had bad experiences with anyone stealing anything in the parks. But hey, you never know. That's true. I think one of the is don't p- overpack. Pack a bit more than what you need. No, see, I'll, I'm the opposite. But so here's my advice. Plan for something to go wrong. No, packing for a Walt Disney World vacation, as far as I'm concerned, is no different than packing for any vacation to any warm place. But anyway, you need to account for something to go wrong. Like what? What is going to go wrong? Like, for example, let's say you stain your shirt, right? And uh, you have a bunch of other shirts that are dirty. And so you need to have an extra shirt. And so therefore, you your whole schedule is off course. And then... Well, I don't have a schedule. So you've got two different strategies here. Clearly, my Disney can... DNA is the planner. Yeah. Well, I like to plan, but I don't like to overpack. Oh, I hyper plan. And I will, just like I say, don't over plan. I also will say don't over pack. It's not over planning if you know when you're doing everything for every second. I mean, it's not over packing if you know when you're going to wear everything and you know that you need everything in your luggage. So I guess first is it's sort of like the Disney DNA. Consider who you are and everyone in your family and what you need to pack. But you... Don't probably need as much stuff as you think you need. And I think you should also consider everyone else in your family. Are you the one that brings the most stuff? Or do other people bring more stuff and you need empty room in your suitcase in case that theirs is overflowing? So consider your family. Consider who you go, who you are going with. Consider the following. Consider everything that you need, all of the different aspects that do go into planning a trip and consider what you would need when you are actually there versus what you think you would need when you're at home and you have access to everything else. And I always say consider your personal style. I mean, that's really what I'm getting at, the way I am. But if you're a parent, you may also want to think about and, you know, you know your kids. So you may pack something without telling them. Because why just, would you do that? Yeah, because you know they're going to ask for it, or like you said, something's going to get go wrong. Or but 
really. I'm still packing as a kid here. That's the mentality. My bottom line, my biggest tip of all is do not overpack. Pack less than you think you need. You're going to buy souvenirs there anyway. You're probably going to buy a t-shirt or you can. There's no shortage of stuff if you suddenly Just decide. They're very expensive. Well, no, there's some pretty good like Uniqlo and stores like that in Disney Springs. They're not expensive at all. In fact, they're pretty cheap. I guess that's true. So with Disney Springs, and there's even non... Oh, yeah, Disney Springs. There's even, and even the stores in the Grand Floridian and other shops, they I, do sell non-Disney themed I'm clothing. just thinking Emporium, which is just a giant money no, grab. Don't, no, I'm talking about anything else for clothing. Yeah. So instead of unnecessarily overpacking clothes that you might never wear in case something happens, I personally recommend underpacking, go light, and then if you need something, worst case, you buy it. And hey, it's not like clothes you're not going to want. Underpacking? That should never be a thing. Yes, underpack. No. My advice, underpack for Walt Disney World, Disneyland, or any Disney destination or any travel destination. This comes back to my point. Please don't take his advice. Even my Disney-themed shirts I bring to other places when we go. So, Well, Steve, why don't you explain why you do that? Who's Steve? I don't know. Why'd you say Steve? <laughs> I have no idea. Well, anyway, that's my daughter. She doesn't even know who I am. But that is so that is my advice as we come to the end of this episode. My whole thing. Uh, hey, what did you call this episode? You named it. The, the bare, bare Necessities. That I'm, is exactly what I do. It's fan service. You are a fan of me. And so I am doing you a service by selling your packing style. Yeah, you don't make any sense at all. So if you listen to Mike here. Go with the bare necessities. Pack light. You don't bog yourself down and you'll be the one with room for souvenirs. I only bring the bare necessities. And Amelia's case is, to sum up, think of every single day you're going to be there, what you're going to wear for that day. And yeah, you're probably going to end up bringing more than I will. But it's also just, it's fun to pack. It's fun to plan. It's fun to get excited. And I may bring more than you, but I still bring everything that I need. I think on this next trip coming up in August... Assuming, yeah, knock on wood, I'm going to have you monitor how much of what you brought you actually touched or wore. Every single thing. Well, I hope you forget by then because then I'm going to remember and at some future episode, it'll be in when, I don't know, the 90s probably, episode 90 something, I'm going to come back and tell you what percentage of Overpack Amelia actually, <laughs> what she actually used. Because in my view, she does pack too much, way too much. I look at her stuff and go, what are you doing? Going to Europe for six months? I change at least twice a day. Every day. Yeah, but do you need to or you just want to? It's fun. I use everything I bring. I don't think you do. So we're going to check that out and we're, we're going to let our listeners know. You will see that I will be right. Because I'm always right. So the bottom way to sum up is, you know what? There is no right or wrong, I guess. The bottom line is... But see, I'm right, you're wrong. Think of your personal style and pack accordingly. But really, you really just don't want to bring more than you're going to need. Who wants to lug extra stuff around when you're going to hotels and airports and, you know, pulling things around? If, and... you're, if you're bringing a suitcase anyways, it's really not that big a deal. You don't want to hit that 50-pound weight limit either. <laughs> That's Although the weight mommy limit. Mommy has come close. Uh oh. <laughs> Usually with bottles of wine pushing it over <laughs> on the way home. Anyway, let us know your packing tips. There's anything we didn't mention today? And like, what would you recommend for packing for a vacation? I recommend go minimal, still in your style. Amelia recommends more free wild approach to wear multiple outfits who cares you're what, on vacation live a little right bring that's what your, you'll use yeah bring what you'll use and you like you do like to change outfits you always have since you were a baby pretty much pointing at stuff so as long as you don't complain about it you take care of your own things then i guess it can work yeah i don't complain i just make you or mommy carry it but really don't overpack <laughs> and let us know your tips for packing for a walt disney world vacation or disneyland it's pretty similar but disneyland's a bit smaller so you don't, so you're still there for the same amount of time. Yeah, and it can get pretty hot. Does it matter? Well, yeah, I guess not. Do you need less outfits because there's fewer parks? No, that makes no sense. Okay, I don't know. Just Well, your whole packing doesn't make any <laughs> sense to me, so I thought I would ask. All right, everyone, be sure to follow along with us 
in between shows or every week on social media at 1923 Main Street. Share with us your packing tips this week and we'll give some shout outs to those. Love to hear them. And we will see you again next week here at 1923 Main Street. Bye-bye.